So, after finally messing up on so many dice because I can't read properly and I can't differentiate, sometimes when I go into a different server, sometimes there's different dices that I kind of noticed. Sometimes you might see some blue dice, sometimes you might not see blue dice. I kind of got confused and after a while, I kind of gave up on the event. But with that being said, full motion is in swing with inflation and deflation both happening at the same time. I know that's a bit of a weird statement, right? But there are some things I can finally talk about because there's a lot of deflation on certain enchants that are really important for those new players that are coming in with brand new huge pets. So thankfully, if you guys actually had a full team or better yet, a good amount of huge pets, you're probably wondering in the game right now, what can you do to invest in for the future? And what might actually bring in more gems for newer players that do have an abundant amount of gems because of the new RNG event? Let's go ahead and talk about that. Now with that being said, what we're going to be looking at are some enchants that are rather important to brand new players that might need some extra books here and there. Now the boss mimic chest book which is that little black one with the red lava on it it actually dropped down to 106 million gems your boss lucky book which is 342 million this one hasn't really budged too much so that's totally dependent on the player if they actually want to invest in this particular book I will be testing them but the biggest one is the chest mimic book this was 2 billion gems and it dropped down to almost a billion gems basically we're going to be looking at the diamond gift hunter the superior mimic chest and we're going to be testing this out on my alt account. The biggest other one is the super magnet. This was nearly 800 million gems and now it's down to 593. So that's a really big deal for players out there that actually want to get something beneficial. Alrighty, so we're going to be testing this out on my other main account, which I use for purely grinding and testing things out and actually using it for utilization for these types of things. Now, the only thing is my mastery is not going to kick in as much as it should to be able to basically use these books. So keep that in mind, mastery does need to be high enough for these to actually pop out. So what we're going to be doing is using an exotic treasure flag and a sprinkler to kind of negate most of the stuff that might be happening with this. All right, so I decided to speed this up because this is going to be a little bit of a long process because this is on a brand new account. Not everything is going to pop up immediately. Again, your masteries for your breakables need to be high enough for this to actually be utilizable. So it's going to take a little while for these to actually pop up. So what we're going to be doing is I'm going to have to actually place down another treasure hunter flag and an extra sprinkler because I accidentally, uh, I opened up a different area by accident. So we're going to use some TNT and hopefully something will pop up by doing this. Alrighty, so after a few minutes finally passed by, the chest finally came out. Now the nice part about this is your achievements. I want to say this actually goes against your achievements for your big chest section where you have to break at least 5,000 for the maximum there. So the first one, which is 150, the next one being 500, the next one being 1,500, then the final one being 5,000. So if you're going out for your achievements or if you want to get extra loot on top Top of what you're doing right now, 108 million or 100 million, wherever it's at right now, is a really good price considering that it was almost 300 million before previously. This is definitely a great way to just get extra loot, especially if you AFK grind. The best way to get extra loot and droppables from this is make sure you pair everything treasure hunter related, and especially if you plan on investing in the super magnet. As you can tell currently, everything that was dropped from the previous area, it's all being collected. So let's say if you're AFK grinding and if you have auto farm, you do not have to place any more magnet flags in the zone. So the current price of your super magnet is a little expensive, but it was nearly almost 900 million gems to 800 million gems a few weeks ago. It's barely hitting that mark of 600 million, which is amazing to see finally. So it's totally up to you guys if you want to invest in super magnet and really
really take advantage of AFK grinding out of your zone comfortably. And this time I turned on the item notification so you can see what comes out of this. Again, your masteries need to be high enough to get better loot and to have these pop out just a little bit more. So our next one we're going to be testing out is the original chest mimic. This one is a little bit more common to pop out a little bit more. Obviously you just saw it pop out. It is that bright pink chest. There we go. We got some items out of that. Now it kind of works the same way as the boss chest mimic, except for the fact that it's a little bit more common with the pop outs. Now, again, I'm going to say this a million times just so everybody knows, it does work better if your mastery is high enough. Alrighty, so our next book is the Boss Lucky Block Book. Now this one is a little bit more expensive considering the fact that we're looking at something that costs 342 million gems. And to be quite honest, this is around the same range as it was previously, so it hasn't really changed too much, but you're able to see the loot that comes out of it. And for those that actually want to get different books in the future, it might have questions about what is better. I figured I would still throw this in here in the list. So after sitting here for, I want to say at least four to five minutes, another one has not popped out yet. So again, 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 breakables mastery, breakables mastery, breakables mastery. Alrighty, so I'm switching this out finally for the superior chest book. So this is really important. Also keep in mind, this has its own dedicated mastery. So unless you're actually wanting to go after this book solely for the purpose of the mastery itself, you theoretically do not need this book because it works the same way as every other book. Then again, I'm pretty sure you guys want to go ahead and try to get this book just to have it and because of the fact that it did go down in price just by a little bit. Though I don't see a lot of people go out into the trade hub to actually go and buy this even as an investment or as a purchase that they really really want. So keep that in mind when you're basically going out to buy things for investments. Alrighty, now here's a tough cookie for those that actually might want to use this as an investment. This is the Diamond Gift Hunter Enchant. Now, I made previous videos on this specifically for the reason of, is it worth actually buying even with Robux or with gems? This is totally dedicated up to the person that actually wants to use this. Uh, hopefully you guys can check that video out because it's definitely one of those books where you kind of have to make that decision on your own. Alrighty, so with some of the major books finally out of the way, I did spend 62 or at least 60 million gems yesterday buying the normal variant of the huge Dark Lord. Obviously, this guy here is selling them here for 55 million. Now, I know everybody has a different opinion on what they like more, if they like the normal version or if they like the golden version of a huge. I would rather spend less gems on something that might work just a little bit better. Obviously, it's not going to make a huge difference, but it is cheaper and it works just a little bit better than your normal huge. So that's also something that everybody can take into consideration. If you can find a golden pet cheaper, I would stick with that, honestly. I know the biggest question at the end of the day is, are are these pets from the RNG event ever going to rise up in price? Honestly, the cheapest one I believe at the time was at least 30 million gems, which was honestly really shocking. Over the past couple of days, obviously since we've gotten the second part of the new update, the older ones that we were able to get previously, such as the robot, the butterfly, and the owl, they finally went up just a little bit more in price. So the answer to that is common, yes, but it might take some time for these pets to actually go up in value even more. Now, this particular tip is kind of meant for those players that actually collected a ton of the rainbow shiny ones. If you ended up being a brand new player or somebody who might have never owned a huge pet before, this was probably smart to sell at the time. Now that we're kind of headed near almost the end of this update, it's probably smart to hold on to this until later on when they do go back up in price. Look at the existing count. There are no more that you're able to hatch anymore. It's definitely smart to save this until it rises up in value later on in the future. Alrighty, so the Titanic section. This one is a little tough considering the fact that nobody ever sells Titanics under wrap, yet alone when it is at wrap. To be quite honest,
honest, this one is probably something that is definitely outside of my field to talk about for investments because of the fact that things are a little wacky with Titanics right now. Definitely though, if you do plan on going into the trade hub to basically go look for huges, I highly advise maybe take a look at the auctions. A lot of the time, some of the huge pets on there will sell definitely under wrap. You might actually get really lucky and see some huges be sold under wrap on booths. However, I'm also noticing a pattern for a lot of huges as well. Some people are actually trying to get the price for some of these huges to go back up in valuation. I'm gonna be quite honest, it's going to be so hard to tell when inflation will come back into the game, but I guess the best way for players to actually tell if inflation will ever come back into the game is if they start noticing a lot of players in booths sell their huge pets or anything in the game over the original wrap price. I guess we'll be able to tell by the end of this update what's going to happen to all of these huge pets. What's going to happen with the enchants? Is everybody going to go ahead and panic sell? Is everybody going to go ahead and normalize and stabilize the economy on Pet Simulator 99? <laughs> we don't know. But I did invest in these exclusive SpongeBob eggs when they first decided to come out. Thought it was a good idea. The wrap has been going up and down on them, but since they're officially gone, now we can wait until later on in the future if they're going to go back up in price. And with that being said, what I like to know from you guys with today's question is, what do you plan on investing in the game while everything is still semi-cheap right now? Obviously, we are hitting a semi-deflation and an inflation at the same time, which is kind of weird to think about. What do you guys plan on doing with your gems or your huge pets? Do you plan on investing in enchantments? Do you plan on investing in huges? What do you guys have going on in your world? And in my next video upload, I will be giving away another set of two huge pets. And just as a reminder, if you're not keeping up with me on Twitter, I do some giveaways on there as well. You can find me at Baby Vapor, and I will have a link on an annotation right here so you guys can click on it. You can give me a follow and you can enter in some giveaways. That way, if you guys are not able to win a huge pet on any of my videos, maybe you can win a huge pet on Twitter. And until then, I will see you guys all in the next video. Bye, everyone. <laughs>